pretty amazing job to avoid that and give the, to the... And the players did, uh, did the same thing too, because uh, uh, the upsets are real, but this time everything was predicted uh, from uh, our back room. Yeah, <laughs> very, very precise. So, not so many upsets. By the way, we got Palutena versus uh, uh, Steve. So, you were right, he's uh, continuing using uh, Palutena, definitely the as he did possible. in the last uh, Italian Major. And uh, definitely that that Palutena near and a pair of pressive can can be a tool against uh, Steve because Steve is a character that can be pressured on. Okay, they just uh, exchange their bread and butter combos. Yeah. Uh, Palutena after an F can do more uh, the the bread and butter combo that she used to do, but Steve still has it and it's gonna probably have, have it forever. <laughs> so good good for him. Uh, wow, Piero went like. Full heads on with that side B into that TNT. Uh, good catch. And, uh, yeah, Piero is a player that you, uh, everyone will see, is very, very precise with his teleport console. So, yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of that. And now he yeah, already never. prepared the diamond uh, axe and got the stock with the, with the down air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's being a bit like a little yeah. labyrinth. Piero was forced to approach. And then the diamond is on board, so it's gonna be like uh, a, a huge complex situation for Piero. He has to somehow put Steven in disadvantage and take the stock. And if not, it's gonna take that much damage. Wow. Well, Good I. Recover. But Piero back throw, no. Oh my! Yeah, the diamond. The Up tilt into back air. I don't know if it was true combo, uh, but... I know 100% it's true, but uh, what true is the damage, and the fact yeah. that with the damage is going to kill you. <laughs> More than the damage, the knockback. Yeah, yeah, the knockback, knockback is huge. Okay, Gero uh, trying to get back into the game, but already two stuff behind. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, he... he must use this game, if not to win, to study the opponent, to get yeah. more and more information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has to... I don't know which kind of information you can take from a game like this. Uh, not much, but uh, he's a better player than me. <laughs> so. And uh, after something like what we have seen, uh, you sh uh, would you feel comfortable uh, staying with Palutena? It's, it's a difficult choice. Uh, okay. Back air? Fine. Wait, wait, wait. Finally, finding the back air. The percentage is very high. Nice. I think the up throw for Steam will do it right now. So it's the kill throw on side. But Piero, finding that. Ball. Oh my! Uh, with no, another. he tried again. That yeah. was wonderful. With another the idea card. was yeah. top notch, but uh, also this cart. So we got the 1 0 from the German player. Yeah. But with that ending, with that momentum building, I believe player will stay with Palutena at least for another one game. Uh, I mean, early struggled in the central part of the game, but I believe that uh, he realized that he, if he puts the pressure with the nail, with the pair, with the down air on Steve, he can get some results, he can get some stocks. So I believe he's staying for Palutena. It, it's just to play in a very large space in Town City. Maybe we'll see, yeah, okay. A small battlefield. A small stage, yeah. yeah. I believe it's the right He one. just went for a smaller stage, I think it and makes sense. Especially if you want to go for Sephiroth. Yeah, yeah I believe. It, it I think uh, it's the best thing, yeah, yeah. Uh, thing you can do after a game like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after being back with, with two, two stuff. Uh, you I just need an F-Tilt and uh, the mud is gone. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, in this matchup, that the, the the spacing looks on the paper amazing for Sephiroth. It can be difficult for him to find the time to set up that, those tilts or those backer because Steve is a character who really can set you in some strange situation or really uh, not put you into playing as your best friend. Uh, oh my! Sure. Okay, so you can intercept uh, using the, the magma block. Yeah. And at the end of the day, so you use box that you place there. Piero has to definitely punish that uh, that FB with with something because uh, okay, yeah, nice one. Near into bear, it worked kind of in a yeah. good way. Okay. Oh wow. my! Good job on Piero on waiting on that, that return, but also punishing that as much. Good job on. He's ended. taking a lot of stocks using down air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sephiroth is light at the end of the day, and the light down air really kills you at the, 
<laughs> unforeseen percentage. So the good size already the wing of play already already 72 percent on P on uh, first bounce. So nice back said, air. That back air on paper is very very good. It can be difficult to find the space, to find the time to, to, to set it up and not to be caught into, let's say, Steve uh, uh, <laughs> maneuver again. By the way, the situation is not changing about the result, but I see uh, a first bone in, uh, except for this, uh, he's controlling the game uh, way better than yeah. before. Yeah. I, yeah, definitely yes, definitely yes. Uh, he's still a, a full stop behind. But I think it's like probably playing more the games that he wants to play. Let's say if he's in can rack up some damage. Remember that Sephiroth can have some crazy, crazy kill setups, some crazy kill options. Uh, so let's say if Piero is able to say find a very little stock and uh, extend this game too. Okay. okay, here's the back air and the down B. That worked perfectly and just turned the game back on. Yeah. I didn't mention it, but that down B can really be a tool on the matchup because I believe that down B is an anchor. Ooh, that was a... Yeah. I don't know if, if it was a huge misclick or a huge yeah. hit, to be I honest. <laughs> I definitely don't know, but that, that Sephiroth down B, I think it's an amazing move. I think sometimes it's underused by his own player. He can really uh, put a wall and uh, take stock uh, a very early percentage. And right now, we are even. Yeah, he's using the range attention. to avoid the down airs from his opponent. Yeah. Down air uh, who took a lot of stocks right now. Okay. Would have tilt. And they're using Here's a the lot of B. that up B on the stage. He's facing perfectly his uh, aerials right okay. here. And uh, the down smash hit. Pixel near of broken the shield. A pixel yeah. near. Yeah. But the wing is in place, so more uh, uh, jump more for Piero and for first bounce and a lot of tools available to him. But uh, the bad thing right now for Steve is uh, he doesn't have a way to kill easily. Yeah. Uh, talking about uh, the diamond axe. Okay, he has the diamond. Wow. He has the diamond. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. And he. That was really tense. Yeah. That was really tense. I'm not sure we will see a 3 0 because Pie um, First Bones. Uh, yeah. Understood how to play. Definitely. definitely. Understood how to play. Yeah. Maybe he can. Uh, uh, can continue uh, on this way, yeah, because yeah. I I saw superiority. Yeah, yeah. Just, you saw earlier, play. You saw earlier, earlier in the in the game, and definitely Piero was more confident, was more uh, playing uh, the game he wants to play, and uh, so game three. But uh, uh, the first one adapting uh, yeah. is on the way. So let's see. But Ante props to him. Is also, he's the kind of player who can stay calm in this kind of situation. Uh, so. Uh, the thing is, I saw uh, also, uh, I also saw uh, First Bones using uh, Sephiroth's range uh, as an advantage uh, more and more uh, as the game continued. So let's see if he can manage ah, yeah. to continue with this. Uh, He's alive just because he's Sephiroth, but a lot of guys. Okay, uh, I think Piero has to enter oh, the kind of spamming that uh, up B on stage, which I think is punishable. Is punishable. So yeah, I don't know why he's using that so much. He was punished a lot of times. Maybe it's a condition, a long-term conditioning. I don't know. He, he use, I think it's using because he saw that Piero really has show a way to really punish that, and if it it's it, it uh, really yeah, say. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, that's fine. You just gotta press show. Yeah, you have to show that you can counter it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if that happy hits you, it put really in a strange situation on a tech chase on the platform. But. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. nice tech and the and back air. The trade is not, not enough. Here. Yeah, it's not in first one favor. I think the weight. But the down air is uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, let's say good reaction on the on first one side on the reacting gonna think that can be frustrating. And I, to be I, honest, I didn't expect Ente losing a stock like that. Yeah, I saw people get reversed in that situation. <laughs> Try to get Steve there and get reversed. So props to first boss of ending it. But also prop to Ante, who's playing a very, very good set. And right now, Piero still behind in percentage, but that can mean that the wings, okay, come to see her earlier. Okay, the yeah, B was really on point yeah. here. He tried to charge the neutral B, but there, uh, there was no room no. for using it. No, definitely not. And uh, also that this stock, I think, is the most important stock of the set. Yeah, our wins uh, is gonna be count so much because you. 
uh, you get the Diamond Axe okay. from your opponent uh, if you get the stock right now, and it worked! Yeah. It worked now, he's for the first time in advantage, and the opponent uh, doesn't even have not only the materials, but also the gold or the diamond, yeah. so he's uh, he's with the wooden axe right now. Uh, luckily for, for, uh, first but the up smash does the trick, so Definitely. now he's with the rock sword, yeah. but uh, he needs the uh, gold, no, he needs diamond. Yeah, yeah. Gold is not that important. Uh, but he all, uh, absolutely needs Diamond if he wants to find uh, the wow. final kill in, uh, in an early position, in an early uh, stage of the match. Definitely. That percentage on Piero means that like the 0 to 50 is not in play, which is a good thing. Also, the wins will come, but uh, for, the, for the stock... Uh, it's not that easy to punish, yeah. by the way. Eh? No, no. A little impatience right here from, uh, from first boss oh to try to get... Uh, on the stage, very good anti-air game by Ante, and this last shot is important. Yeah, Ooh. he gets the wing. Okay, we got the the wing right now. And it is dangerous. And yeah. the TNT almost took the stock, and now we got the diamond axe. Yes, got the number. And it worked. So we got the three O. Maybe I don't want to say Ante didn't deserve this yeah. because he played really, really well. But first bond did. First bond didn't deserve uh, the three O. No, Maybe a three one. Would have been more fair. Yeah. Because the, the quality of the gameplay was really, really good. Uh, just this. 3-0 is not the result, uh, result uh, that shows how the things uh, went. Yeah, definitely. We saw inside the matchup. Spawn, attacking more and more and more as the game was going on. And the Zephyrot was definitely in the right shows. The thing is, in like a last tough situation, Steve's get an advantage and build his diamond. And that's a thing that really makes the difference in that last week, last tough situation. Uh, so at the end of the day, yes, a 3-0, uh, it would be like fair to have a 3-1, but props to Ante to playing a very, very clean Steve, also adapting to both Piero. The curse of Italians in stream continues. Continue, it's not a 3-2, so uh, this something, uh, something has changed. So 